Hey there, first graders. I'm just here at my campsite getting ready to cut some firewood for tonight's campfire. I heard you guys were camping too. How would you like a tour of my campsite? Let's go this way. I'll show you my fire. Right over here is where we're going to read some camp stories and roast some marshmallows a little later. Now, how about I show you my tent? Every good campsite needs a tent. Come on this way. We're going to hike through the woods over to the tent. Wow, this looks like my tent. It's a perfect campsite I have set up here. You guys want to see the inside? Oh my goodness, it looks like a little wildlife got in there. Hey, little kitty. What are you doing in my campsite? You want out? Oh, sweet boy. This is my tent, everyone. This is where I'm gonna snuggle up later in my sleeping bag. Pretty nice, don't you think? I hope that you were able to make a tent at your house for your camp this week. Let's go back to the campfire and read a story. My hiking poles sure do help me navigate this camping experience. I recommend you guys all get some hiking poles. Hey look, it's one of my favorite books. Pete the Cat Goes Camping. You wanna listen along? Let's snuggle in tight and read Pete the Cat Goes Camping. Pete the Cat Goes Camping. Pete is excited to go camping. This is his first time. Don't forget your sleeping bag, says dad, or your hiking boots, mom says. The campsite is deep in the woods. Mom and dad set up the tent. Pete and Bob collect sticks so that they can make a fire later. Pete and Bob go for a hike. Bob shows Pete the footprints of different animals. Do you think we will see anything cool? Ask Pete. Maybe, says Bob. Pete and his dad go fishing. They must be very quiet and very still to catch a fish. Fishing takes a long time. They finally catch some fish. We'll probably go fishing later here at my campsite too. Mom builds a fire. She cooks the fish for dinner. It looks yummy. Next, Pete toasts marshmallows. Pete makes s'mores with chocolate and graham crackers. I am definitely gonna make s'mores later at my campsite. It starts to get dark out. Pete tells Bob, or Bob tells Pete a story about a scary, hairy giant. The giant lives in the woods. His name is Bigfoot. Do you think Bigfoot lives here? Asks Pete. No one has ever seen Bigfoot, says Bob. Don't let Bob scare you, says Dad. Bigfoot is not real, Mom says. Peace, Pete sighs with relief. But if he is real, I bet he's friendly, said Dad. And he probably likes s'mores, too. That's not scary, thinks Pete. Maybe he wants a s'more. Pete leaves one for his hairy friend. Soon it's time for bed. Lights out, boys, Dad says. Bob and Pete share a tent. Pete gets into his sleeping bag. It's cozy, but he cannot sleep. The woods seem extra dark and all the sounds seem extra loud at night. Pete hears a weird swooshing sound. What is that? He asks Bob. That's just the wind, says Bob. Pete hears an old chirping noise. What is that? He asks out loud. Those are just crickets. Pete hears a strange hooting sound. What is that? He wonders. That's just an owl. Pete thinks of his friend Owl. Pete hears a loud snapping sound. Crack! What is that? He wonders. But Bob is already fast asleep. Pete listens carefully. Crack! Is it Bigfoot? Pete peeks outside. It's too dark to see anything. When Pete wakes up, he checks the spot where he left the s'more for Bigfoot. The s'more is gone. There is a note. It says, thanks for the treat, XOXO. Pete shows his family. Wow, I knew Bigfoot was real, said Bob. 
Pete knows Bigfoot is not scary just because he looks different does not mean he is scary. He even likes s'mores too. And so do I. Do you guys like s'mores? Well, I hope you have a great week camping. I know I've had lots of fun being out here in nature, doing some camping this week, and I'm probably gonna sleep out here in my tent all week long. So I hope you guys have a great week at camp, and um, I hope you liked the story.